In one of the great ironies of modern science, CERN, the organization that rejected Higgs' paper, has just spent $10 billion building a machine to find the Higgs particle. But what exactly is the Higgs? Ask a half dozen physicists and you'll get a half dozen different answers. The Higgs. It's a tricky thing to come up with an analogy for the Higgs boson. It's, 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 um... There's the analogy with something being dragged through treacle, but for me that's misleading because this is a dissipation of energy, and it, it isn't like that. That's a pretty bad analogy for the Higgs. <laughs> <laughs> what I've read on the Higgs is, in my mind, very confusing. <laughs> Here's the way I understand it. A bunch of reporters standing in a room, crowded room. And so me and President Obama want to make it from the entrance of this room to the exit of this room. So we go in, and what happens? Of course, all the reporters glom on Mr. Obama. And old Bob over here, he just makes a beeline right to the exit door. So basically, with no inertia, I can make it to that door. Whereas Mr. Obama has a lot of inertia, a lot of mass. So this Higgs field affects one particle more so than another particle. We must be able to come up with a more... Well, when we see what they look like, we'll come up with a better analogy, right? <laughs> another analogy, yeah. <laughs> something involving cars or something. No, I don't <laughs> However you describe it, the Higgs solves a slew of problems, starting with the particle zoo. It's a very elegant idea because if you accept it, then our whole picture of particles becomes simpler. There are not so many particles. It's the mass that makes it look as if there are many particles. A little bit like a kaleidoscope where you look in with a lot of mirrors and there's only one little pattern, but it's reflected and reflected in mirrors and it looks very complicated. The Higgs phenomenon is a very satisfying way of simplifying our standard model. The Higgs gives mass to the basic seeds of matter, such as the electron and atoms and the quarks inside protons. Because the mass of the electron helps determine the size of the atom, the Higgs gives structure and form to everything we know. If you turned it off, you, me, your dog, and the planet would fly apart at the speed of light. So how do you find an invisible, seemingly undetectable force of nature? All the forces have related particles that we can see, given enough energy. With the right tool, we can create those force particles. Although, as it turns out, it's taken nearly 50 years to develop a tool that may spot the Higgs. 